Welcome to Snag Guys, you're here with Dave and this episode is going to be part of a series explaining to you how we've wired up the boat and what we've done. Now my best mate Frank, he's a sparky, so everything is done professionally but also DIY and it's very easy to do. I'm going to post a list of all the parts that we've used and the cost and in my opinion it's very affordable. And I think you guys might find this extremely useful for your own boats because everything is completely waterproof. You can hose it down and at the moment it's worked extremely well for this boat and it looks really nice. So thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned and enjoy the series. Alrighty guys, here we go. Boat installation. We've got a few things hooking in. Switch here, box, waterproof and the bracket it's all going to be mounted on. Aluminium, of course, and we're going to be doing top rivets, and keeping it all aluminium. This is where it's going to be mounted, so she is slightly protected by the weather. It's going to be like something like that. With the box there, and then with, well, with, with the switch. Alright, let's go. Look at this. Mm. That's in. Oh, look at that. Chinook is a bug. Bang on, switchboard. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Gotta match up your rivet for the, for the pre drill. Not him. Aluminium on aluminium. Why That's should correct. you do that, Franco? For corrosion purposes. That's right. I once owned a boat named Sweet Lips, and she was corroded because the bloke before me used stainless steel screws on the boat without anything in between them. Like, that's alright if you use Sigaflex, I think it's called. Something to uh, break the seal between the joints. Aluminium on aluminium always works best. One up nice and high, that's right. Get it out of the weather. We'll mark her up, get some holes done for her. Well, we'll be clamping her in, but we'll be drilling her in. First hole is about to be drilled in the new boat. Far out. Woo! Ah, oh, straight through the other side. <laughs> <laughs> She's going down, Barry! <laughs> so, insert the rivet. First pop of it. Now. She's tight. Oh, there we go. She's in. Took a little bit. Usually does. <laughs> Leave that there while I... The techniques, the tricks of the trade. You've got to lever all up. Get her nice and ready for the next one. So to make it all um, nice, we're going to be putting one of these little um, grommets and they're actually really cool because when you, um, Frank can you just turn that for the camera just so they can see what happens when you put the cables through it. So when you put the cables through it, this is a rubber seal and it closes it in as you can see. So we get a nice tight seal so I can just pretty much hose the boat down, no worries. Our homemade waterproof switch box. You fantastic. It's gonna drill a 25 mil hole. There should be done. So this is how it's gonna happen. With a nice rubbery seal here too. Yep. You really picked this up, Frank. For those people who might want it. Uh, these go. These come from electrical wholesalers. So 
Now we're going to do the pop rivets to secure the waterproof box to our new brackets. That's in plenty enough. Yeah, she's in plenty Can enough. Hold that. One. Here we go, in second. Got him. Mm. Boom. Pop River City. All right. Four more. It looks really good. It looks quite professional if I say so myself. Look at that. That is going to be the switch bank. For the main attraction. <gasps> oh. How delightful. Yeah, so that's day one done. 